We're at Promontory. We're yeah. at Jack's course. We are at the hardest golf course in Utah. If I shoot in the 60s here, it's really, really good. The, the course record here is 68. That's how tough this golf course is. The course record's kind of cool because you're like playing against anyone that's ever set foot on yeah, the golf course. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> you're going to only want to shoot 67 today. That's all, Yeah, I'm pretty much just going to try to break the course record, 100%. All right, so now you're at... I'm at one under. I've got, I've got to right, make so we four birdies. we four got more. four birdies on the back. We can do it. I wonder how this compares to like playing in the Masters on Sunday with Tiger Woods. <laughs> So this is the 13th hole. Uh, Tony just made a par. He is currently four under. So if he makes one more birdie, he will reset the course record to 67, beating his current record of 68, which he holds. compares to like playing in the masters on Sunday with Tiger Woods. <laughs> I need to understand have you you must have tried to understand birdies six of seven yeah of the final holes at Augusta on yeah. Sunday. What how, what how does that happen? How do you do that? What's happening? What is going on? Well uh, man you're just you're just kinda locked in. You kinda zoned in, you know I, I didn't really feel that nervous. You know, I was kinda just I made I made birdie on twelve. Made birdie on 13, birdie on 14, birdie on 15, birdie on 16, and then I hit the best shot of my career. I blocked my tee shot on 17, uh -huh. and I ended up hitting from 190 yards this slice five iron around the trees from the pine straw to three feet, and I birdied 17. So there's six in a row. And not only did I, I had a chance to move up the leaderboard on 18, but I had about a 12 footer straight up the straight up the hill, the putt that a lot of the guys have made to win the tournament. Um, and I and I literally left it right on the front of the lip. Or that would have been seven in a row and tied the record for most birdies in a row in my first Masters. So that would have been cool. But um, man, that was it, it, you're kind of you're kind of in a zone there, and, and I definitely was. How does that compare to playing with Tiger and literally being in the group where he gets the one of the most iconic photos ever taken? It was two totally different years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good ball. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do it. Three bogeys. Oh. Good putt though. One hop over. Oh. Oh, oh, let's go! Oh, you got to call it. Yeah, you just got to call it. You got to talk to it. My luck is like, going on. I'll be like, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Bro, shot. Yeah. Gosh, dang it. Eagle power, birdie, birdie. <laughs> the first year with what had happened on Wednesday leading up to the tournament, I didn't really have that much expectations. I was going in not knowing how I was going to feel with my ankle. And so the, the week was kind of a dream week. I made the cut. I was in, you know, I, I ended up playing well on Sunday. 2019 was totally different. You know, I went in with a lot of confidence knowing that I liked the golf course. I played well on one bad wheel, why, why can't I win a green jacket now? So my, my mindset, I think, and the whole entire, um, yeah, just the whole entire mindset for me was different in 2019. And I was able to play my way right into that final group on Sunday. And uh, lo and behold, I'm playing with my golfing idol, Tiger Woods. 
I had dreamed of beating him in, in a Masters many times. I have hit practice putts against him uh, many times uh, growing up, and, and now I finally had my chance. Did you um, tell him any of this? No, I'm sure he knows. He knows. He knows. <laughs> I'm sure he knows. Everybody's out, to, everybody's out to beat him. We all have those aspirations and dreams. Did he, did he say anything during the final round where you were like, whoa? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been quoted sharing one, one story, and I'll just share it real quick. Um, so I, I say hi to him on, you know, on the first tee, good luck. He says the same thing, play well. Um, don't really talk to him at any of those first few holes. On number seven, I hit my tee shot um, last, and I'm walking off, walking off the tee box, and Tiger and I are just walking right next to each other. It's pretty much just custom. When you're walking next to somebody, you just you know, start talking. So I had asked him how his kids are doing, and, uh, and he gave me the most blank stare. <laughs> He looked, he looked over at me and he said, fine. And he looked straight back and just laser focused. So I knew he was all business that day. And he didn't, really, you know, the next time we exchanged words is when I was congratulating him on uh, winning his green jacket on wow. 18. So um, that's pretty much the, the extent of our conversation. And he's, when he plays, he's definitely all, he's definitely all business. Birdie 18. Yeah, I love it. Man. You don't want to shatter the record. You want to just slowly yeah, keep penetrating. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know? Yeah. Well, the guy Next week, come back, just keep going lower. People are like, when is he going to stop? <laughs> I was sad to learn that you didn't go on a mission. <laughs> Alex was expecting some awesome mission story. Yeah, you made the decision not to yeah. because of golf creating a platform. Or yeah, I, I, yeah, exactly. I, I feel like I, I am on my mission, you know, and I've been on a mission to a lot of different countries at this point and and, and doing my thing. But you know, I think the 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 strongest way I can put it is, you know, I I felt like golf was my mission. I, I really did, and and as a strong member of the LDS faith. You know, I had always dreamed of going on a mission. I always thought I was going to go on a mission. Um, but when the opportunity presented itself, um, I, I took golf as, as, as my mission. And it, and it ended up being that that was the right thing for me, I felt like, you know. And, um, but, you know, being a member, it's very – there's not a lot of us on the tour. There, there, I think there's two of us. It, you know, it, Daniel Summerhays and myself, yeah, both like Utah. Summer Hayes you, yeah. yeah, both Utah guys, uh, both Utah ties. Um, but – Wait. Um, now that uh, you know, I think Zach Blair. Zach, yeah. Zach Blair is on is on tour. I think a little less active, but he is. But he is. But he is a member. The biggest thing, you know, coming from an, an LDS background and having the having the faith, I think, is just exactly that. You know, I, I have I've always had faith um, in in better things, and and the God, and and the church has taught me that. You know, and a lot of the way that I feel like I. I act and, and try to um, is just from what I've learned, and not only from uh, from the church, but from my parents and and learning to just try and be a good example. You know, I think we're all children of God. I believe that, and um, we can all help. We can all help each other in in some way. And and I hope, you know, that's to me. That's my mission. Just just to be a light to everybody. I've a lot of stuff on the way down. I have. I'm so cold. I'm so hungry. <laughs> it's been a long day. We got up really early. I mean, here's the thing. Tony needs a three to break his prior course record. Um, I mean, 
It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. 100% it's happening. He's in A position right here. He's got like a, a 9 iron in. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's into a cool breeze. Cool breeze. He likes it into the breeze. We're good. Pilot style. His old course record. Yeah, just tied it. I'm going in the water. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll call it a 60. Close. You made it Thanks, fun, babe. man. That was fun. That was awesome. Thank Thanks. I had a good time. Thanks, guys. That was Thanks, fun, man. That was Thank awesome. you. Yeah, it was cool. Man. That was cool. Thanks. It's so beautiful, man, because the, 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 the hardest thing for me is when I experience in myself or as a bystander. Uh, the game of golf being a selfish game. Do you know what I mean? Like it is kind of a selfish. Game. It really is. And yep. and and uh, and and it doesn't have to be. Yeah. You know, the most people that don't view it as a selfish game have some type of spiritual situation. Bernard Langer was one of the first people. I said, Bernard, do you think golf is a spiritual game? And he said, um, I didn't until I became Christian. Then I realized that uh, I'm not playing for myself. Yeah. Do you have any way of incorporating directly that faith into the game of golf as a competitive venue? <laughs> yeah, I love I love what Bernard says. Um, do I, you know, if you ask me that same question, I don't know if I would say golf is a spiritual game, but you know, I I do believe like I'm a I'm a sp spiritual being and trying to live in a physical world, you know, and in a temporal world. And I think what I mean by that is is I do believe we're all spiritual spiritual beings first, you know, before we're actually human beings and beings, you know, that, that physically exist. Um, pertaining to the game of golf, anyone that asks me, do I have any rituals or do I, I really don't. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the most probably, I, I don't have any superstitions is what I'm trying to get at. And the only thing that I do is I pray. I, I just, I say my prayers, you know, uh, in the morning before I play and don't really ask for success or anything. I, I, you know, I think I, I have a grateful heart to be in the position that I am. And if we do our best to accomplish what we feel like we can on this earth, I think, you know, we've got, we've got better life uh, waiting for us on the other side. Awesome stuff. Thanks guys. That was fun. Yeah, man. Thank you. We'll see you guys uh, again soon.